a blood curling novella here. Hello, fellow plot questers. It is I, Aaron the Plot Quester, and today I have this gothic book The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Let's get right on to it. Mr. Utterson is Dr. Jekyll's lawyer, and he's walking with his colleague on the street, and his colleague points at the door. And he says, there's a very interesting story behind that door. And she says that a very gristique, something, just something about him that makes you dislike him. A strange, strange man named Mr. Hyde lived there. He trampled a little girl over without a thought. And he showed no remorse or apology afterwards. Mr. Utterson was horrified, for he recognized the name Hyde. He was the one who was inheriting everything when Dr. Jekyll died. And he started to suspect foul play. After all, he had never heard of this Hyde person. And for Dr. Jekyll, the logical, reasonable man, to simply give a random person his entire estate and fortune seemed out of character. Or so he thought. And so he goes to ask Dr. Jekyll. However, Dr. Jekyll basically says it's none of his business and makes him go away. In chapters to come, we will find that Hyde commits a murder. A popular gentleman, even. And when that happens, Jekyll looks distressed and says that he will see no, none of this Hyde fellow from now on. What does this mean, really? And at the end, we find that Jekyll is lying dead, or oh, Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde had been the same person all along. Dr. Jekyll had, had always been fascinated with separating the good and the bad of a human being, and he had succeeded using a very particular trans transformation drug. When he drank it, he would become a, a completely different person an evil persona of himself, the very crystallization of all of him that was evil, Mr. Hyde. And as we all know, Mr. Hyde did a lot of terrible, terrible things. And Dr. Jekyll, starting realizing that the transformations are going out of control and that he was running out of the drug that he needed to turn back to Dr. Jekyll, commits suicide. And that is the end of the short, sad story of Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. Let's do a quick analysis. So obviously on the base level, it talks about the good and the bad of a human being. So all humans have a good side, all humans have a bad side, and we have these two sides who are fighting within each other. And in this case, it was the fight between Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now, humans all have desires, whether it be the, the unexplainable desire to hit something or the desire for money, or for fame, or, or ambitions to become, to become famous, strong, liked. All humans have desires. And honestly, this book is about Dr. Jekyll fighting his desires in which he considered unethical or evil. However, I don't really know if you can define it that way. I mean... If we think about it this way, Mr. Hyde is basically a psychopath. He receives pleasure in giving pain to others, being, being well, being a psycho, being crazy. However, in some ways, Dr. Jekyll felt the most liberated from society's oppression. So maybe we can say that Mr. Hyde was, in some ways, a greater or a more free man than Dr. Jekyll. And also, humans, as I already said, humans always have both sides. And the fact that humans have that side, have both sides, and it's constantly within them, making decision after decision for them, that's what makes us human. And trying to separate that, and or trying to get rid of just one side, I don't think that makes sense. We should accept both sides and work with what we have. And in fact, our bad side, our selfishness or our greed can sometimes help us in needs of self-preservation. For example, if you're 
in a situation where you will die or your friend will die, your evil side or your self-preservation will probably save you. However, due to that instinct, you're alive, better than dead, right? What I'm saying here is, even though, even though your bad side obviously does unethical or bad things, it may be the thing that keeps you alive, or it may be the thing that is that in the moment you feel the most free. Now let's think on the previous point that perhaps Hyde is a greater man than Jekyll. If this true situation happened in real life, which side would you win? Desire or honorific justice? Which side do you think would win? I personally think that desire would win. Because a human's ambition or desire is what makes us, it's what leads us. For example, a priest's desire to do good, I mean, that's still a desire, isn't it? Or a student's ambition to go to a good college, that's still a desire. The ambition or desire to help people, that's also a desire. And desires are what makes us do things in any sort of situation or conflict. It's what makes the decisions for us. And in this sort of situation where Dr. Jekyll's one side desires that he wants to do good or be a good person with a good social status, with good friends and a good life, and Mr. Hines desire to be completely liberated, which side do we think would win? Dr. Dr. Jekyll has mentioned several, several times that when he was Mr. Hyde, he felt like, he felt disgusted. He felt completely free, liberated from the chains that held him down because society forced him to. And he loved every second of being Mr. Hyde. And Dr. Jekyll, while he was being Dr. Jekyll, of course he found small pleasures and happiness of being a normal person, being loved by society. However, I think that he felt more of a sense of freedom, of, of just happiness, of pure elatedness when he was Mr. Hyde. And if the author, who is Robert Louis Stevenson, if he was not doing, playing the marionettes and controlling everything, who would have won, Jekyll or Hyde? Perhaps in the real world, Hyde would have been the victorious one. And that's where I will end off my summary slash analysis of Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. And like always, your plot quester, Aaron, uh, Aaron the plot quester, I've decided that I'm going to post my anime analysis videos on my other channel, so please give that channel some attention. I have over 1,000, close to 2,000. That should not be the difference between the two channels. Anyway, have a great day and subscribe.